But uh, uh, with that, I, I was very thankful again that uh, the waste of tax dollars on appeals process and the rest of the uh, the issues that go along with that, the opening of the wounds and just the the pain that the Lunchford family and this community and my my agency would go through. I felt that. Uh, uh, that at least this brings closure to it. Do you know what the cause of Jack exactly is? I believe it was cancer, and I believe it was anal cancer or, or rectal cancer is probably the correct terminology for it. How long was he hospitalized for? You know, I, I, I was not even aware that he was ill, and I was not even aware that he was in the hospital. Uh, the first time that I found out about it was when I found out he had passed away. Your opinion would have been the would have been the appeal. The appeal would have probably been based on counsel, uh, I would say, and then we'd go back to the psychological issue of John Cooey's mental state. Uh, those would probably been the two issues, and you know the the, the process you have to go for mental competency is uh, is kind of uh, kind of difficult, and and you don't know what the mix comes back at. Uh, I believe, like I believe that day, as Rick Howard believed, Judge Howard believed that the, he was mentally competent. He uh, meticulously uh, planned the kidnapping and abduction of Jessica. Uh, and as uh, the evidence showed and, and the information that was presented by our medical examiner and the information our detectives showed uh, that Jesse was dead, uh, we believe, uh, by 6, 6.30 that morning. And that John Cooey uh, was a, a malicious uh, uh, killer that had uh, premeditated this and had his plans all in line. So what was the first thing that crossed your mind when, when they told you he passed away? That I wish I would have been there so I could have uh, watched him take his last breath, but uh, that didn't happen. And then there was relief, and then there was disappointment that we didn't get a chance to put him to death.